I'm not an e-bike expert, nor do I claim to be. I just know what I like and what I don't. And when I did my video on the Aventon Cinch e-bike, I waxed poetic about how much I loved it. I love it so much that if a crackhead wearing a Hot Topic Nirvana t-shirt and dirty black Air Force One stole it from me and Aventon refused to send me another one, I'd hop online and buy one myself immediately. That said, I guess Aventon loved my video on the cinch the same way I love the cinch itself because they sent me another one of their e-bikes to try. Aventon calls this e-bike the Solterra. For some reason, I looked up the meaning of Solterra on Urban Dictionary, and apparently it means single and ready to mingle. Which makes sense because Aventon is marketing the Solterra as their urban living e-bike. As a single male with no kids living in the heart of the city, the Solterra should be right up my alley. And it is. Unlike the Cinch, which I think is a good looking bike, but has a rather unorthodox look, the Solterra looks like a road bike without all of the pomp and circumstance. There's a girl next door innocent yet seductive vibe to it that in one breath makes me want to cruise around on it and in another thrash it around like I'm a speed demon. Speaking of speed, the Solterra has a top speed of 20 miles an hour. The Solterra is fast but it doesn't have raw power like the Cinch. The Solterra is to the Cinch what the Porsche 911 Turbo S is to the 911 GT3. Like the GT3, what the Solterra lacks in outright raw power, it makes up for in agility and pure grace. This bike is so slippery and maneuverable, I found myself wanting to lean into corners like I was on a motorbike. The Solterra comes in a single speed or seven speed setup. Mine was a single speed, which is fine for me because I don't ride bikes to get a workout. I ride them for pleasure or to get from one place to another. Even though this bike has a throttle on demand, it lends itself naturally to pedaling. I'd often start off pedaling then let the throttle on demand do the rest once I get up and going. That's the thing about the Solterra. It gets out of your way. If you want to pedal, it does not naturally. If you want pedal assist, there are five levels of it and that too felt very natural. If you want throttle on command, it has that too. And though it's not as torquey as the Cinch, it felt really smooth and natural. When I'm on a cinch, I'm like a spoiled brat, riding around everywhere like my hair's on fire. With the Solterra, it has a more relaxed personality. It can do the balls on fire psycho riding style, but it always seems to seduce me into just cruising. The thing that really stands out about the Solterra though, is its weight. This bike is really light. Carrying the bike up a set of stairs is really easy, which speaks to its urban living e-bike aspirations. The Solterra city living aspirations, however, don't just stop with its weight. The Solterra comes with, I must say, really nice integrated tail lights that act like brake lights along with an integrated headlight. There's also the display, which I also really liked. The information this thing gives you is straight overkill, however. but. It tells you your speed, distance traveled, pedal assist level, how many calories you burn, how many trees your trip saved, how much CO2 your trip reduced. Like I said, overkill, but I love it. But that's just my inner techie being a techie fanboy. At a price of $1,299, the Solterra is considered a budget price city e-bike. However, if you told me it was $2,500, I'd believe you. Nothing about this e-bike feels like a budget bike. It's a very good looking, well composed, great riding bike that gives me a lot of consternation, honestly. Because I now have the Cinch and the Solterra. I'm always going back and forth over which bike I want to ride. The Solterra has so much utility for living in the city. The Cinch is a complete blast to ride. Right now, I'm sure most of you are wondering which bike I'd pick if I could only own one. Well, in the words of Kanye West, I guess we'll never know. Help me spread this message by liking and sharing this video with everyone you know. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And most importantly, make sure you hit that bell symbol.